Hello and welcome. Now that we know what is the necessity of the software modeling, we should undergo through a particular life cycle of the software in which we will be generating a quality end product. And to do so, it has certain amount of phases through which you have to go. Whether you do following an enterprise architecture, whether you do following a solution architecture method like a Jackman or a Togaf or anything, basically what you have to do is you will be starting from the idea generation to the maintenance phase. Now, the software development life cycle is a systematic process for planning, creating, testing, deploying and maintaining the software applications or the systems. As a software developer, it is very crucial to understand each phase of the SDLC to ensure the delivery of the quality product. Now, before we go in details of the items what I am showing here, I just need to mention you these are the steps which you will be following in different ways. But ultimately, while you are designing a software, you will be going through each phase of it. Now, it starts with an idea generation. You can see that idea is the preliminary phase where you start thinking about the software, what you want to get as an end product. That is the idea generation. In that, you may be doing a solution concept diagram. I will come to the UML part of it. But even before that, I want to tell you that in the idea generation, you start thinking about what is that you want to achieve. And from there, you come to a point where you will be telling, okay, in the preliminary phase, I will be defining this and this has to be having this kind of solution in place. I mean, it is a rough idea which you will be doing. Then you start the analysis phase. Now, in the analysis, what you will be doing? You will start looking into the feasibility study, whether it is possible. You want to go to moon is not uh, suddenly possible without a rocket in place right similarly in the analysis phase you will start looking whether that software has a ROI in place what is ROI the return of investment for that institute or for that company then you will start doing the analysis after you have seen that okay this is possible now what are the requirements that I need to draw is where you start the analysis then you start also looking into the risk part of it. What kind of risk you are carrying to execute this kind of project. After the analysis phase, here you start with the design phase. We were looking into the Lego. What have we seen? That while doing the Lego, they, have, they will be providing a design along with that. How you can achieve a Titanic? How you can do a castle? How you can do a building? Those sort of analysis or design document will tell you after analysis you will be able to do the design isn't it so the high level design and a low level design is what you do in the software development life cycle after that once this is done the actual implementation starts what is actual implementation the coding will only then start once you have the high level design or the low level design into hand and what goes into the high level design or low level design is definitely in our context of UML and we will talk very soon about that. Then you will be doing the coding in the implementation phase and you start if there is a problem you start debugging those in the implementation phase. Once that is ready you start sending it to the testing phase where you will be doing the unit testing and also integration test testing if you are talking to system A, B, C, D and many other systems right so integration testing is also a key important point what you will be doing to make sure that the software what you have done from here till here everything is fine now you want to promote this to a particular staging environment say for example you are doing it in the development environment here and after that you start deploying it into the staging environment or a testing environment while you are doing testing here it can be a development environment or a testing environment also but later you put this into the UAT environment and once this is through with the UAT environment you promote that to the production so this is in a nutshell the whole 
a software development life cycle and then it goes to the maintenance and then it go get uh, bugs or whatever uh, incidents or how you maintain your software it keeps on running if there is a particular change which is required it will come through the change request and all those things but basically if you see this analysis design implementation of the key things where we are concerned about what we are doing here an object oriented analysis and design using uml right the software development life cycle will be a key item you have to keep in mind while you are doing the design whether you are using uml tool or any other kind of communication tool for high level design or low level design so that's what i wanted to tell you in this section let's move to the next section